Okay, hi, my name is Dan, and I'm going to show you guys how to load a firmware hack and a theme onto your iPod using iPod Wizard. Now, what you're going to want to do is download iPod Wizard from the iPod Wizard website and a hack and a theme. So, uh, I'll post some links to those websites and stuff on this in the description so you can, uh, know where to find those. And uh, I suggest you watch this video before you attempt modding your iPod so that you know you know what you're gonna do, you know what you're getting into. And a uh, word of warning, um, if you do happen to put your iPod into a full boot loop or mess it up somehow, it's not my fault, okay? I'm just showing you guys how to do it. I know how to do this, so I'm just passing on information on to you. It's your it's your own fault, you know, if you messed up your own iPod. So now that we have all that stuff out of the way, let's get started. I have Windows Vista, so when I open iPod Wizard, I have to right-click on the icon and then run as administrator. And then hit allow because I have to do that because it's Vista and it's retarded. So then you have iPod Wizard open. Centered in the screen. So, what are you going to do? Can you see my mouse? Okay, so just follow my mouse really carefully. See up here in the upper left hand corner how it says edit mode? You're going to want to choose firmware file and then open your firmware. And for this Tutorial. I'm gonna upload the Evolution fifth generation iPod hack, iPod firmware hack, into iPod Wizard because a that's the cool hack, and b I have a fifth generation iPod video, and uh, I'm also gonna upload the Vista Aero hack by iHacker. I'll post the link to that in the description box. So, for this theme, now, you, well, now that you have your firmware into iPod Wizard, you want to load your theme. So, uh, for this theme, I'm going to hit Layout, and then Resource Type Scheme Layouts, and then I'm going to press Load All, which is, was, is right there. And then I'm going to go to the place on my computer where I saved that file. So, then I hit the arrow, and it's probably going to be named Font Resources. So, hit OK. Let those load. Huh. Weird. I'm not having a good day with iPod Wizard. Okay. Don't get Vista, guys. It sucks. Oh, yeah. Scheme layout. Okay. So then you load your resource file, and then you go to font types. Let these load in. Then hit load all right here. Once again. Go to that pl special place on your computer where it's saved. Make sure you hit font resources. Then load your font resources. And then go over here, see this tab? It's kind of, it changes blue when I go over it on the left hand side of the screen. You want to hit pictures. And then over here on the right side of the screen, you want to hit load all. So press that. And then go to that place on your computer where you saved it. And this has this ha this uh this theme has three visual styles: Aurora, which is like looks like Vista, you know, with like the awesome background, you know, like the waves, not the waves, but like it's the Aurora effect. And then there's the beach visual style, which is like a palm, like a palm tree and a beach. And then grass, which is my personal favorite. It's just like some blazy grass with some dew on them. So, I'm going to upload the grass. And it's going to load all the pictures in there. And uh, it might take a minute. It might take a few seconds. Depending on how fast your computer is. 
and also on like how many pictures are edited. So now you you have your entire theme and firmware in iPod Wizards. Now what you want to do is plug in your iPod. Oh, and uh, before you plug in your iPod, make sure that you exit out of iTunes because if iTunes is open while iPod or Wizard is open while your iPod is plugged in, it's just gonna screw it all up, and that that's not fun. So, uh, yeah, plug, make sure iTunes is closed out if you have it open. And don't open it, because that'll just be stupid. So then you're going to want to plug in your iPod. Wait for it to, for your, wait for your computer to recognize it. And here in the upper right hand corner, once it loads, it should say found one iPod drive. And then the name of your iPod. For me it's my F drive. And I'm not going to show you guys my last name. Because that's weird. So then after that, you can run a hit right to iPod. And then yes. And then you have successfully written the mod I firmware to your iPod. You are done. So then you can pretty much just unplug your iPod now. And it should automatically restart. So uh, let's wait for it here. Wait for it to load. Do do do. Loading. Loading. I'm seeing the Apple boot logo right now. Booting. Booting. Getting bored. Can't wait to see my awesome new theme. And it is up. So, uh, right about now you should be seeing a picture of my iPod. And now it, that picture should be going away. So that is how you upload upload a firmware hack and a theme into sorry into iPod Wizard. And uh, the way you upload themes is going to differ from theme to theme because different themes have different font re like resources and stuff, and also different pictures. Maybe you have to edit some strings and fonts. But, uh, it's basically the same thing for, well, the same concept for most every hack. And, uh, loading the firmware file is the same thing for everything. And, uh, don't mix up your themes with your firmware files, because if, let's say you load a panel theme into an evolution firmware, it's just gonna mess up and it'll probably put your iPod into a boot loop. So, uh... Hopefully you liked my tutorial, and uh, have fun modding.